Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Review Stuff. And today, I'm going to be reviewing candle waxes, my massive collection of candle waxes. And this is a really highly requested video, not just on this channel, but on all of my channels. But now that I have a review channel, I thought, okay, this is perfect. This is where it's gonna go. It's gonna belong over here. It's gonna have its own little category in candles. So underneath there, I will make a playlist of candles. And if I review candle waxes in the future, I will put it underneath there and you can go check it out. But anyway, um, if you watch my vlogs on a regular basis, what you know is that I, my name is Peter and I am a candle wax addict and it is so hard to admit the truth but uh, my best friend and good Judy Tanya she and I go to the Walmart we go to the Meyer, which is basically like a Walmart and we go to uh, Target we go to all these places right and we spend hours smelling the candle waxes this is the appropriate way to smell a candle wax you just lift it a little bit like that. that's how you get the, you don't lift it all the way open you don't do that you're not rude to the person that's gonna buy it because for me like once I smell it I put it back usually because I don't want it now um, if you see in the background right now I have two candle waxes burning I prefer these like metal ones like this you see they're metal and I have two different kinds if you can see I got them at Meyer, and they are about $15 you can find them on Amazon you can find them anywhere and I like the metal ones better there are all different kinds. There are kinds that have little bowls and dishes. There's ones that look real hippity dippity do and all that. There's all kinds, okay? Listen, there's not just one kind of wax melt burner in the world. So, but those are the kind I like. I usually keep one in the kitchen, actually right over there. And I keep the other one in this bar that we have in the living room. It smells up the whole house when you get a good candle wax. Because I will tell you, there are some crappy candle waxes out there that don't burn to any. They, they suck basically is the truth of the nature they just suck okay they're horrible you don't want to waste your money on it and today I'm going to tell you some of the ones you don't want to waste your money on okay so anyway but I'm going to go through some of my favorites in my massive collection of my candle waxes before I get into that though I do want to say this that last year I bought this candle wax burner for Halloween and I wanted to show it because I didn't use it this year and it's really a truth of the nature. It's a mess of trouble. Okay. I hate this candle wax burner. You, what you do is see this little glass thing down here. Okay. You put your candle wax in there. So like, if you're going to burn one, here's what you do. <laughs> Not a cigarette. If you're going to burn a candle wax or if you're, people still say that about cigarettes today. Let's go burn one. Okay. So anyway, okay. What you want to do is you want to get a, uh, a piece that just is perfect like that right and then you're gonna put it see in this little thing here or on those you just put it on top and then you just turn it on it's real easy you don't even need a light or a light a candle and then what you do is you put this over the top and then it's got a little light inside of it that like goes down and melts on it and then you just like turn it on see okay but let me just tell you this thing because it's glass it's such a mess of trouble I hated this thing last year and people when I had it in the background Oh, it won't fit anywhere. When I had it in the back of videos, people were like, I love that so much. It's so awesome. Yes, but it's a mess of trouble. And the problem is this, okay? That if you use candle waxes regularly, some of them stay stuck in this thing, okay? So then you got to either pound it like that. But the problem is, see, this is glass, boys and girls. Okay, glass. And what, you ha what happens is you shatter this and then it goes everywhere. I've done that with candle waxes before. You don't want to do that, okay? Then you got to look everywhere. And then like three weeks later, you're afraid, you know, because you got shards and you're walking through the kitchen and you ain't got any sandals on or anything you know what i'm saying it's just it's messy i don't like this so i don't use this anymore but i will tell you a trick okay and it doesn't work so well for the glass as it does um for the metal ones but if you can't get the wax out of the top because see you want to get the wax out of the top okay i know you guys are like is this what what is this like directions of how to use a candle wax well basically yes it is but the reason that you don't hear me shut that the reason that you don't want to actually i might be able to use that here in a second the reason that you don't want to uh this drawer right here is that you can't see it candy but it's actually a, like a, you keep your bread in here we've never kept any bread in there because we only ever have one loaf and i like it in the fridge true story you want to see i have a oh am i gonna fall out the chair oh shoot it doesn't matter but i have buns in there for my veggie burgers so anyway i keep them in the fridge that's where i like to keep my bread where do you guys keep okay so anyway um, but on these things, if you can't get these the melts out of it, I learned a little trick that somebody taught me. Well, there's a lot of tricks to it, but this is the trick that works for me. You pound the hell out of it, first of all. If it won't come then, because you, you can't break metal. But then what you do is you put it in the freezer for five or ten minutes. It just comes out real quick. So anyway, currently, 
I have this Sensationals from Wal Walmart. Uh, I was going to say Walnut. <laughs> Walnut Grove, Little House on the Prairie. Uh, it does smell like Little House on the Prairie in here. It smells like Ma just made some cinnamon bread. Ma, half pint. Anyway. Okay, so this is the Coffee Cake Swirl. It is probably one of my favorite candle waxes of life. And it is Sensationals. And you can get those up in the Walmart. I've seen them other places as well, but mostly at the Walmart. And this is a value pack, which means like for $2.99, you get, now I got my glasses on, I can't do math. One, two, three times four is 12. So is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12. You get 12 of these said cents right now. See, now I have two of them burning in my whole house. It smells like Mall from Little House on Prairie. It's got cinnamon rolls. It, it smells fantastic, okay? These are probably my favorites. They run anywhere. If you get, like, a six, you can get them anywhere from, like, sometimes they got dollar bins at Walmart. You can get them anywhere from a dollar to three dollars. I think these are fantastic. And I will tell you a little cheat that I learned, okay? How am I six minutes into this and I haven't even started? This is going to be the longest. You guys, you think this is it? Oh, hell no. That's not it. You think that's my massive candle wax collection? Give me a break. Hell, they're falling on the floor. Look at this shit. I got candle waxes for days. I got so many candle waxes. They're just coming out all over the place. Look at this. They don't even, it doesn't even fit in this basket. So I'm going to put it over here and we're just going to go through and I'm going to tell you what some of my favorites are in a second. Okay. But I will tell you a little trick that I learned. Okay. That, see these sensationals here for like $2. Okay. Those are fantastic. Now, where's a example of a real expensive one. Here you go. Okay, so, and I know some of you are going to disagree with me because when it comes to candles of the world, everybody loves White Barn Candle Company Bath and Body Works. Well, I do too when it comes to candles, okay? I love their fall scents. I love their Christmas scents. My favorite candle of life that they discontinued is glitter and champagne. It's fantastic. But these little things, they are crap, okay? And I don't even know how much. This says it is four fifty. Four. That's a dollar what is that? I got my, okay, a dot, like a dollar fifteen for a melt. It's crap. And this is fresh cut lilacs. This is another one. My husband can't stand this kind of stuff. He said it smells like old ladies all day long. And it it kind of does remind, remind me of my grandma a little bit. But whoo! Anyway, so I only used two of them. You can see I used one for in here and one for out there, and that was all I used. And that was just oh, they're falling out and everything. Uh, I just didn't like those. And what I've learned is that the cheaper the candle wax. Sometimes the better that they are, honest to God. So, let me go through here, and I will show you some of my favorite candle waxes. So, like I said, and we're going to kind of organize these as we go. It's kind of like that game. Did you ever play that game, Mat Match? Uh, you match stuff up. That game, I love that game. Okay. So, recently, I went and I bought these Yankee Candle candle waxes. Now, let me tell you something. Hold on a second. Let me put this stuff over here. Okay. The so, recently, these are my most recent buys right here. Okay. I have to tell you, here are my candle, my ink and candle waxes. Now, this is what happens to me, okay? I get in the store, and this one is called Pumpkin Apple Harvest. And I get in the store, and I'm like, oh, my God, that is fantastic. I even showed this on my vlog, right? So then I don't just buy one. I buy two of them, okay? Now, you can see there's none of those used yet because I didn't think they were so fantastic when I got them home, and I didn't want them. Then the next one's called Apple Cinnamon Cider, okay? And this one smells really good, too. These are all Yankee candles. Now, let me tell you the thing. And then this one is called Santa's Treats. This is the kind of shit that my husband cannot stand, okay? This is like baked sugar cookies. And he walks in here and he's like, oh, no. It's like, that's too much. It's making me hungry. So, anyway. But I was so excited to buy these. Okay, these Yankee candle things, they don't smell at all, okay? And they're a little bit more expensive than the sensational ones. And I was just real put out by it. I was like, I mean, I've got a bunch of them in here. See? Here's more. Apple cinnamon cider. I mean, I've got a bunch of these Yankee candles, and I just don't think that they hold up whatsoever. I just don't love them. So, I, these are new, and I probably shouldn't have bought them. Do you see? Here, we'll put them up like this, and then you guys will be like, oh my God, Peter, you're basically like, you should be a display artist. I know, I should. Do you see? I mean, they look real pretty, and, and I will say one thing is that they come out really easy of this thing, but I don't love them. The Yankee candles are not my favorite. The, they smell, and you know, the other thing is, tr is weird is that, like, the candles, the Yankee candles, I don't love Yankee candles either. No, ma'am, uh-uh. I don't think that they, they burn real well. Now, I will tell you this. I have a candle warmer over there that Natalie sent me, and I love that candle warmer, and I have a Yankee candle in there right now. It's apple cider or something like that. It smells up the whole house. So, I mean, I don't know if that's how you have to use it, but I'm telling you right now that candle waxes of the world, they're junk. They just, the Yankee candles, don't get them. Now, when I was at the store the other day, I got another one. Where's the other one? Here it is. I got these Febreze ones, and I wanted to try these out. I got candle wax going everywhere. So, I got this, uh, I got the, um, 
here it is, what do you call it? Uh, I need glasses. Fresh pressed apple, Febreze, and the fresh harvest pumpkin. Cause you know, I'm, I'm feeling real fallish. It's Thanksgiving and why wouldn't you want all that, right? And then I got this one called uh, lemongrass and ginger. This is the kind of shit that my husband loves. Now, if you can see this one, it says on here one, it just looks real spawish and real pretty. Doesn't it look just so pretty? This one does not smell at all. I could not believe it. We had this burning for like four hours. Crap, it didn't smell at all. So then I burnt this fresh pressed apple. Now I will tell you, like the container's really nice. They are not even connected. Like they come out, they come out of here really easy. Do you see on the back? They come out of there really easy. All you have to do is just break them like that and they come right out. You can hardly smell them. But in here, I, I feel like I'm at an apple orchard. I mean, true story, apple orchard of the day. They don't burn. So I haven't even tried this one because I think it's crap. So anyway, let's get into some that I really, really do like. Now, if you follow my channel, what you know is that I teamed up with the Poor House Candle Company. I have so many of these candle waxes. So Abby, over uh, Poor House Candle Company, she sent me a bunch of these candle waxes. Okay, are you ready? She sent me, I have Peter's Haunted House. I will link her below. Okay, Peter's Haunted House. I have my own candle wax of the world. <sighs> smells like coffee and apple cinnamon and leaves. It just smells like a Halloween party. Okay, and then I also have Peter's Drama Class. Oh my God, it's got me on the front of it. Look at that. Mmm, smells so delicious. Okay, now I will tell you, I have not used a lot of these, but... Namaste in bed. I had another one of those. I used it. I love that one. But Mrs. Weasley's Kitchen, I used my entire house. It smells like apples. I'm almost positive. Hold on a second. Yep, apples. And let me just tell you, my entire house smelled like apples. I just saw myself in the window over there. I was like, holy, who is watching me do a review video? It's just me. Anyway, so Mrs. Weasley's Kitchen, aren't they so cute? Go check out her website. I'm not throwing those because I love those and she's so nice. So anyway, I still get tagged in her stuff all the time. People love it. Okay. So let me show you these candle waxes that my friend Melissa introduced me to. Oh, here's another Yankee candle. It looks like I used two of those. Bountiful Harvest. I mean, if they make it to my house, it's because they smell good. Because I don't buy ones that don't smell good. Okay. Um, let me show you these, which I love. Oh, here's another Yankee candle. Cozy Corner Linen. My husband loves those. Okay, here's another one of those. See, Cherry Blossom. This is another one of those, uh, what do you call it? Those uh, White Barn Candle Company ones. Two of them gone, because it stinks. They're not even, they're not good. Okay, hold on a second. So far, still my favorite is the cinnamon roll. Is that what it's called? Cinnamon coffee, or coffee cake swirl from Walmart. It, it doesn't really matter which ones are your favorites. If you, oh, here's another one, Cheat of the World, okay? Do I just have one of these in here? Let me just show you these, okay? These Burt's Bees ones are absolute crap. Have you seen that? Look how pretty those are, okay? Can you see it? And you can't see it in the ring light, can you? I should probably turn the ring light down a little bit. I don't know that it really matters, but can you see that? Let me just show you when you open this. So it looks so pretty, doesn't it? Okay, they, I burnt, look at this. I burnt one of them. Crap, total crap. Okay, so these are, do I have the one I like the best? Yeah, okay. So one of my favorite candle waxes of life, and if I can find the website, I will link it below, but I buy them here at a store in Indianapolis called New Age People, and they are $6.25, so they're kind of expensive, but let me tell you, my friend Melissa said you have to get these, and they're like kind of homemade, natural waxes, Swan Creek Candle Company, Break Apart Drizzle Melts. Drizzle Melts, have you ever heard? They have drizzle on top of them. Do you see this? Drizzle. You can't see because the candle. Drizzle, okay? So this is vanilla cam, pound cake. This is about my fourth one of these I've gone through. Oh my God, it smells so good. And these you can use like three different times. I know you can use them over and over and over again. People say about all of them, but I just don't think that that's true. Uh, I don't think they smell that great. But these you can because they're so big. This one's called Glowing Garden. Mmm. Now that does smell like cherry blossoms. Okay. Petals of Paradise. Don't you just love the names of these two? I think that's so cool. I mean, let's just be for real. Candle waxes make, that's a little too sweet. I don't know why I bought that one. And, oh, bourbon maple sugar. You can see I've used four of these. So this is obviously, yep, so good. Oh my God, that smells so good. It smells like, I don't know, 
breakfast. And I love anything breakfast. And then elderberry and rose water. Now, my husband, he hated this one. Oh, so good. Okay. So, these uh, Swan, what are they called? Swan Creek Candle Company. They're bigger, and they are, like, one of my favorites. This would actually make a really, really good Christmas present for somebody. So, those are my favorites. Okay. Now, let's get into, I want to show these. It's going to be hell to put these back on here at the end. This, I think, will surprise some of you. Okay. That some of my favorites, honestly, are the Glade. Okay? And I found these last year, and I found them at Home Depot, and I could not... Was it Home Depot, or was it the one that... Menards. It was at Menards. And I could not believe I found them. And there's one that's called Warm Flannel Embrace. <sighs> Who doesn't like a warm flannel embrace? From my husband. But let me show you what I love about, oh my god, it smells so good. It's kind of like patchouli, but leaves, and it's, it just smells like, it, it smells like the most perfect date in the fall whatsoever, and your like lips are cold, and that first kiss. Anyway, it's like the first kiss, okay. And then you, you wear their flannel shirt home, and you smell it for weeks, and then they break up with you, and it's real depressing, and then you have to break out some of these other ones, like the coffee cake swirl, because you're just like, I'm going to stay in for life now. But anyway, what I really like about these and you can see it's happening already, okay, is that they are not connected, so watch what happens when you pour them out. They come out really easily, easy, <laughs> easy peasy, and they are like perfectly square, and they burn perfectly. This is basically like, you know when you get a cookie thing, and the cookies are already just, and they come out looking perfect? That's what these are like. So I have the, the I have the warm flannel embrace, and then I have tree lighting wonder. These are like fur, these are my favorites. I'm gonna keep these out because Oh my god, this is like the most fantastic uh, fur. Anything by Glade, I love. I have used a lot of the Glade candle waxes, and they're some of my favorites. Okay, so the rest of these really are the cheapies of the world, and I want to show you some of these. There is a brand, let me see if I can find a bunch of them. Um, there is a brand called Fusion, and Fusion, if you see, I don't know if you can see the top of it, you probably can't, but you can find them at your Meyer. you can find them, I think, at Walmart or whatever. Do you see this? And at the top it says Fusion. They're very much like the earthy spa smells, and this is typically what I get from my husband that he likes. Blackberry Merlot is probably, I have gone through so many of these, you can see. Um, I mean, but I've gone through like packages and packages of these. Blackberry Merlot is one of my all-time favorite candle waxes of life. I love all of these. The Bourbon, uh, Oud Noir, Sophisticated Spice. These are all $2. They're super cheap, you guys. Patchouli Woods. And you know, back in the day, hold on, I got a whole bunch more of these. Um, Sensationals Holiday Home. So you can buy them like little six packs too. Um, Kitchen Spice. Look at these. These are the ones that get me in that line. Tanya's always like, come on. I'm like, but Tanya, look at the cover of it. They got sugar cookies. Santa sugar cookies. Who wouldn't want one of Shanna's Shanna sugar sugar cookies? Sugar factory. <laughs> Shanna, Shanna. <laughs> I've got so many of these candle waxes. Okay. Um, Beachfront sensationals. My husband loves all that stuff. I can't stand it. Okay. I don't like the, like the, the fresh linen and all of that. Sugar spice. That's one of my favorites. Okay. Um... Popcorn garland, nasty. Don't ever, buy, junk. Don't ever buy the popcorn anything. It is so gross. Okay, warm maple butter, no ma'am. Nasty, okay? It smells so sweet in your house, you wouldn't want any part of that. All, kitchen spice, see? Use, all but two. I love the kitchen spice. Almond brandy pudding, this is another one of those uh, noirs. Okay, these are the ones that my husband really, really likes, which is why they're at the bottom. And this one is called Clarity. And this is probably his, it's going to smell straight up like a spa. Oh my God. This is his favorite one. And when I burn it, he's like, what is that smell? And the other one, it starts with an I. I can't think of what it's called. I, intelligence, no, intellect, no. I hop, I love I hop. But I hop is more of like the, uh, look, the almond pudding and the sugar spice. Because you want to get, when you go to I hop, you want to get the pancakes. Okay, so anyway, those smell really, really good. And then I have a bunch of other ones in here. Um, Fresh Cut Bra of Frasier. Oh, here's another one that you can get at Walmart. It's the Better Homes. The Better Homes are cheap as hell, too. You can see I've used all of them, but two. They are really, really strong. I love those. Do I have any? Oh, Smoked Birch is another Sensationals. And uh, let's see, A Thankful Harvest by Better Homes and Garden. I've never used this one. 
Ooh, no, that's rotten. Mm -mm, that's nasty. Okay. And then um, a country home, a rustic country home. I remember the night Tanya and I went to buy these. Now that's nice. It smells like sugar spice. I mean, why wouldn't you like that? So anyway, and then you can also buy these little ones from Yankee. Do you see? And these, um, are, this one's autumn wreath. Let me just tell you. Okay, these things are totally a waste of money. Don't ever buy these things. They are junk. I don't care how much you like Yankee Candles. I don't care how much you think that Yankee Candles are the most fantastic thing in the entire world. This thing, boys and girls, junk. Throw it away. You don't want it. Did that just go to my candle wax? No. I think I have a couple more of them in here. I don't. So anyway, oh, mahogany cedar. That's another one. Oh, those clarity ones. And then apple cinnamon swirl. I love the swirls, okay? Anything. Don't you love the swirls? <laughs> Only two left. So anyway, that is my massive, uh, I gotta put these back in here nicely or they won't even fit. I bought this to put all my candle waxes in and then I filled it up because I bought more. Because I was like, well, I have so much room, I might as well buy some more. And now I, you can see, there's a bunch of them I should just get rid of because I don't want or like give away. Maybe I'll do a candle wax giveaway on here. What do you think about that? Would you guys like if I did a candle wax giveaway on here? Put it in the comment section below and I will let you know if I'm gonna do that. It will probably, if I do, be around something to do with Christmas gifts or candles or something like that. So anyway, this review video went 21 minutes long. Long. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite candle waxes are in the comment section below. Don't spend a lot of money on your candle waxes. Go cheap with something like Better Homes and Garden or Sensationals because I think those are the better buy. They smell stronger in your house and they are fantastic and they have a broad range of anything that you like, whether it's sweet, whether it's, you know, uh, I don't know, citrus, whether it's spa, whether it's spice. Do you see what I'm doing there? Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.